In front of you, you have a couple of boxes or servers, um, SLES 10 and SLES 11, that stands for SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. And this also, these tutorials that I plan on creating will also correspond to OpenSUSE uh, 10, 11, 12. There's not an Enterprise Server 12 yet uh, at the time of this tutorial is being created. Anyway, what I wanted to cover today was bonding. Um, there are some differences in bonding on SLES 10 and SLES 11. On each of these boxes, I do have a public interface configured. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is bonding the private interface. Um, you can launch YAST by coming down to computer, clicking on YAST, and then uh, going into network and launching network card. You can also type YAST to space LAN. And I'm going to use the traditional if up method. And what we have here is we have our public interface and then a couple of unconfigured cards. Same thing on the SLES 11 box on the right. SLES 10 has one extra little caveat when creating a bonded interface. So let's go ahead and start with SLES 11. I'm going to show you how this is done. And then SLES 10, I'll show you. You, do it the, you can do it almost the exact same way under SLES 10, but if you skip a step, it will not work correctly. So the very first thing you want to do is come and edit these interfaces and you want to select no link and IP setup. Now that's under the address tab. If you were to go to the general tab, make sure that you activate devices at boot time. This may get changed later on um, when you go and bond the interface. The bonding may go ahead and change this on SLES 11. I have seen it do it. Switch it on a VMware box for instance to uh, on, in, on hot plug. So I'm going to click next and you can see that the IP address now changes from not configured to none. Do that for the second interface. And now we're going to come down here and click add. We're going to select our bond. Bond zero, it's going to be my first bond. And I'm going to give it a static address 10.10, well if I hit my numlock, 10.10.10.172, sorry, that address is taken, 171 and it's class C. I don't need to go ahead and... Slez, I will configure the host name here, SLES11, um, but my my uh, routing and everything is already configured. So I'm going to go over to this other tab called Bonded Slaves and because of the steps I took previously, these slaves, these NICs show up as slavable now. So I'm going to go ahead and select these. And then down on the bottom you can choose uh, the, the mode that you want to use. I'm going to do a round robin. Um, you can add other options here or get go edit the file later. If I click Next and then OK, we'll go ahead and let that complete. Now, on SLES 10, you can do the exact same thing. There is one caveat, though. Um, if you come in, first of all, if I were to add a bond and I were to go and try to see these devices, I may see them as a bus ID. I may be able to select them and try to enslave them. Um, and that may all work according to this utility, but if you go and try to use that interface, it will not work. You have to go through these steps. So go and edit each of these devices, and you're going to do the same thing. No IP address, select that radio button. However, under the general tab, the, the device activation, instead of leaving it at boot time, change it to never. Do that for both interfaces. If you do not change it to never, um, then the interface will not show up underneath uh, the bonding section that shows the slavable devices. So let's go ahead and click add now. We're going to create our bond. Bond zero. And now these bond slaves show up as these ETH IDs. Again, it, if you just go with a default setup and don't go and change anything, um, you'll either see the device IDs in here as a bus ID or you will not see them at all and in either situation they're not going to work so you make sure you go through those steps make sure the device activation on SLES 10 is for never then uh, go ahead and select these devices you want to enslave choose your mode again um, host name and routing I don't need to worry about let's go ahead and set a static address on this uh, hit my numlock 10.10.10.170 and we'll go ahead and finish that. Going back to SLES 11 while we're waiting on SLES 10, if we type if config, let me expand this window, you have our bond 0 and our ETH 0, which are our private and public interfaces, and then we have ETH 2, ETH 1, 
uh, not necessarily in that order and our loop back all listed but those are just showing the devices notice that there's no physical network address assigned to those interfaces because they've been enslaved to that bond same thing on SLES 10 so we have 170 and 171 let's go ahead and bring up our Windows box which also has a private network and a public network configured I'm just gonna ping each of those 10.10.10.170 which is responding and 171 which is also responding so now all three of these have a public and private interface configured um, just to wrap up SLES 11 make sure that your boot your device activation at boot time is set to on boot it may be changed later on just as a demonstration let's go into YAST and see if it did get changed for our interfaces where we have don't have an uh, IP address configured it didn't change it but I have had I have seen this changed in the past now if you were to change this to never like you did on SLES 10 then you will not show the device will not show up as enslavable now going back to SLES 10 um, the one caveat is is that when you're in an, you, you'd configure it the exact same way as SLES 11 except that when you go and configure these adapters you go to the general tab and make sure the device activation is set to never otherwise it won't show up or it's not going to show up correctly you'll you may see a bus ID instead of an ETH ID and even though it may configure and look like it's working it will not be a pingable address and it will not work um, I even tested it before creating this tutorial just to make sure that there wasn't uh, some you know a problem on my end as to why it wouldn't work it just it just not the way you do it anyway I hope you found this useful thank you